Rancho Palos Verdes is a jewel on the coastline, a city that garners breathtaking views, miles of open space, and landmarks that attract the world. One of the most recognizable landmarks is the Point Vicente Lighthouse, which stands tall along the bluffs and is a true symbol of the peninsula. The lighthouse was built in 1926 and is operated by the Coast Guard. It has a fascinating history and is on the National Registry of Historic Places. Next to the lighthouse is the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. People come from near and far to watch the migration of the gray whale. I have been a docent for 20 years, so I've seen lots of changes, and it is definitely the most wonderful place on the peninsula. Just across the shore from the Palos Verdes Interpretive Center sits the Terranea Resort, which reflects the beauty and history of the land in Rancho Palos Verdes. There were many, many architectural drawings and we really looked at how the land kind of cascaded down. Okay. Everything that we everything that we blasted for the main building, we made sure that all of that rock was used in all of retaining walls. Nelson's rock is PV rock from our building. We did uh, we crushed it for our road beds. So we really um, looked carefully at what we could do with the land. So we wanted to feel like we weren't new glitz and glam, that, that we were part of the heritage of um, the peninsula. It was so important for us to embrace this community. We feel privileged to be on this site in this land, and we're part of a broader community. And so we wanted to act as a responsible corporate citizen, as a responsible neighbor, making sure that everyone's welcome and they can walk the pathways and feel like this is really their property. And before the spectacular property was Terranea, it was another treasure in the community called Marine Land. We were actually startled at how many people were involved with Marine Land over the years. Yeah. Nelson's we named after um, Lloyd Bridges and yeah. his character um, here that he dove in the tanks here at Marine Land. You look at a sunset at Nelson's at the end of the day and you say, I'm so grateful that I get to come here every day and serve um, this beautiful community and our guests. Not far from Terranea and nestled in nature is the world famous Wayfarers Chapel built in 1951 by architect Lloyd Wright. The Wayfarers Chapel is a Swedenborgen chapel and people come from all over the world to get married here and marvel at the unique architecture. Across the road from the Wayfarers Chapel is Abalone Cove Shoreline Park it's one of nearly 20 parks run by the city. Abalone Cove, or Ab Cove, has two beaches, tide pools, hiking trails, and picnic areas along the bluffs. No matter what park you visit in RPV, you will find beautiful nature surrounding you. And just down the road at Trump National Golf Course is Founders Park and Marilyn Ryan Sunset Park, which have spectacular views. And speaking of spectacular views, you won't find a golf course anywhere that's as stunning as the views from Trump National Golf Club. It really is, it's the best course. It's considered better than Pebble Beach, better than any of the courses in California. I also spent a tremendous amount of money bringing it to a level because when I bought it, it was a good course in a great location. Right. And you still had the ocean, but you didn't have the ocean like you have it now because right. we made the vistas much bigger and the course is a much bigger course. Uh, Pete Dye was the architect and he did a fantastic job. Every single hole is either on the ocean or a view of the ocean and there's no course like that in California. I hear it all the time. I mean they talk about the greens are wonderful and the course is wonderful and they love the clubhouse but people talk about the great help and the people that yeah. work here whether it's Lily or any of the other people, the chef who we think is just the best and they love the food, they love the ambiance but they do love the people. The city has been really spectacular. I mean, they want this to be the best. They're very proud of it. Yes. And we appreciate that, and we've really had a great relationship with them. No matter where you are in Rancho Palos Verdes, the landscape shines brightly. There are cultural and architectural wonders to see, businesses, schools and institutions to enjoy, and a treasure-filled community to celebrate. We congratulate um, the city on their 40-year anniversary. We're very happy to be part of their celebration.